Hey everybody, I'm Rachel with Limbo's product team. Today we'll be talking about how to navigate Limbo's home screen on the desktop app. Keep in mind that some screens may look different for you depending on user permissions and your plan with Limbo. If you have any questions, reach out to your dedicated CSM. Let's get started. We'll be looking at two main sections, the navigation menu on the left and the toolbar on the top right. You can navigate to other pages in Limbo using the navigation menu on the left-hand side. When you log into Limbo, you'll be taken to your global dashboard. This is a bird's eye view of the work happening across your organization. It includes top line information about your locations, open maintenance tasks, operating costs, maintenance performance, and employee performance. If you need to get back to the global dashboard page, the globe icon will get you there. The gauge icon takes you to your custom dashboards page. This is where you and your team can create custom widgets to look at any stats you need about tasks, assets, parts, and more. The house icon will take you to the locations tab. This is where you'll find all your locations if you have more than one on your account. You can configure your location settings by selecting manage next to the locations header. Within locations, you'll find everything you need to manage work, parts, assets, vendors, and more by expanding the caret icon next to your desired location's name. Manage work is where you'll find all tasks, including PMs and work orders. By expanding the manage work tab, you'll find the options to view open tasks, completed tasks, and submit a work request. The manage assets page is where you'll find your assets. You can add and edit existing assets on this page. The manage PMs page is where your PM templates are. This is where you can create and configure your PM templates. The manage parts page is where you'll manage your parts inventory. You can associate parts with specific vendors and assets, and depending on your plan with Limble, you can set up purchase orders when inventory is low. The Manage Teams page is where you can group users into teams. This allows you to assign multiple users to the same task based on their function, like plumbers, HVAC, or electricians. Or you can even organize by user schedules, like a morning or a night shift. The Manage Vendors page is your digital Rolodex of vendors. You can add vendors here that provide supplies or parts, and vendors that provide services or outsource labor. If applicable to your account, purchasing related items are found on the purchasing page. Here you can manage, add, and edit POs, bills, and budgets. The user icon takes you to the manage users page. This is where you will add and edit users on your Limble account. You can assign users to locations, assign their roles in Limble, which we'll cover a little later, and manage their notification settings. The next icon takes you to the setup work request page. This is where you can manage and customize work request portals. Work request portals allow anyone within your organization, even if they don't have a Limble account, to submit a ticket for maintenance work to be performed. The Maps icon takes you to the Maps page. Maps allow you to link your assets and tasks to a location on an interactive map, which is a great visual tool to see where your assets and tasks are located across locations. This is a page that is only accessible for customers on certain plans, so reach out to your Limble advisor if you have any questions. The next icon takes you to the settings page, where you'll manage your account settings. Within the settings page, you'll be able to edit your account settings under the configuration tab. This includes formatting preferences for things like clock and date format, currency and language settings, broad task settings, and security settings. Depending on your plan, you'll also be able to configure seasons, holidays, API, and SMTP settings. Under the Roles tab, you'll configure user settings based on roles. Roles are groupings of permissions that permit or limit a user's ability to perform actions and see information about your organization within Limbo. By default, Limbo has Manager, Technician, and View-only roles. You can make changes to existing default roles with the exception of the View-only role which needs to be done with the help of your CSM. You can also create custom roles. If applicable to your account, you'll connect Limble with an SSO provider under the Manage SSO tab. Moving to the lower part of the navigation menu, the megaphone icon will bring you to a window of video tutorials about what's new in Limble. The bell icon is where you'll find your notifications about task assignments and other activity related to your account. The final icon in the navigation menu is your profile picture, which is where you'll find account information. This section is where you can find a few resources and where you'll be able to make changes to your individual profile. Edit profile is where you can update your user information, including your profile picture, contact information, language preferences, and more. Change password does just as it sounds. 
Account and billing is where you'll find your account and payment information for your Limble subscription. The product feedback board is where you can give our product team feedback about how we can improve your experience with Limble. The help center can be found here as well. Cache files can be done here. This is helpful if you're experiencing slow load times and need to troubleshoot the app, though this is not a button you should need to use regularly. And that's it for the navigation menu. Let's finish up by looking at the toolbar. First up on the toolbar is the magnifying glass icon. That's the global search function, which allows you to search for items across your entire Limble account. You can filter by tasks, PMs, assets, parts, vendors, and if applicable to your account, POs. The rocket icon opens the getting started window, which includes a library of video tutorials to help you get going as a new Limble user. The question mark icon will take you to our Limble help center, the Help Center is full of how-to articles to help you make the most of Limble. And last but not least is the Refresh icon. Clicking this will refresh your data in real time. You can also configure automatic refreshes to happen in 5, 15, 30, and 60 minute increments. And that's what you need to know to navigate the Limble app. Be sure to check out our channel for a full suite of how-to videos, and if you have any questions, reach out to your CSM. Thanks for watching.